Yo, what's up guys? Today, Deeper Gun Playground has updated once again, as you can see, with a big Christmas update. Now, there are a few new things come that came with this update, alright? That is the addition of a new currency, which is candy canes. A new mob, which is the Festive Sharko, which drops a lot of candy canes. Um, killing players with a 10% chance of giving you 25 candy canes with a Festive Chest. A new NPC with new rewards, as a new weapon, a new enchant, new race, etc. A new fighting style, which is the Mud Skipper fighting style, and a new hat, which is the Santa hat, which is on the snowman. Now I'm gonna go over first on the new NPC and where it is and what the rewards are and all that. So let's just go right there. It's located in Mud Skipper Cave this way, so it's not far. He's gonna go in like a little bit. This should just go straight. Which is right here. Alright, you press uh you press one, here are all the things. You press two, it tells you how many candy canes you have. So the first reward is the elf outfit. It, it gives the same buffs as no, a normal outfit, so does the Santa outfit. The summoning summons a uh, festive charcoal, which they have just buffed. The amount of candy canes it gives, I'm still not sure how many it gives though, but it's quite expensive to spawn it. A frozen Cestus, which is the new weapon, which scales off light and frost drop, and can do up to 40 M1 damage, which is absolutely insane. Snow Warp, which is very expensive, which is the new enchant, and it does like an extra hit per M1. I'll hop on another account in a second to show you how that works with the, also the new weapon. And a transformation is a new race, which is the race this NPC has. It gives you yellow hair and these ears. I want to say it's too drippy, but hey, some people might like it. Alright, now I'm going to show you about the new fighting style. This is located in somewhere else, so let's just go there real quick. All right, and we made it. It's right inside of this like abandoned castle. Here's the Mudskipper NPC. There is two chests here also, one right here. Oh wow, that's actually very lucky, what the hell? Solar, that's not very good, but oh well. And another chest up here. So if you want like chest farm, this is also a good place. So what you want to do is just talk with the Mudskipper and you need to give two knowledge or oath shards, it's the same thing. And it will give you the Mudskipper fighting style. And I'm going to make a whole build based around the Mudskipper. Alright, we are on my Santa build, which is a video that is coming soon. This build is absolutely crazy, and it has the new weapon and the new enchant. So real quick, let me just show you how much damage this weapon does. 40 M1 damage. I'm not lying. It has the Wayne Vaya M1s. And the Just Carita Critical. But it will have a custom critical in the future. Okay, this is what the enchant does. As you can see, it throws like an extra snowball, which does 3% damage, more or less. I think it does around like 20% of your actual M1. And I have to say, it goes really well th with this weapon. Since, basically... Oh wow, look, I got very lucky. This is the festive chest, by the way, that I was talking about. That gives 25 candy canes. This basically ba uh, makes you proc Fist of Fortitude like every M1, well every, every 3 M1s, so it's super good paired with Fist. Do I recommend the grind for the enchant? I wouldn't say so, since there's like Provine Thorns and whatnot, or the other enchants that do extra 3%, but the weapon, yes, if you're a Fist main, go for it, it is absolutely amazing. The race doesn't actually give any buffs by the way, it's just cosmetic. But that basically wraps up the whole part 1 update. You heard me right, part one, there is going to be a part two. We don't know much about it, but we do know that the Mud Skipper race is going to be unlockable. But I already have it on an alt account, which I'm going to make a video on. And there might be like a boss. That is just a theory, but they were talking about like a boss. They needed an animator and a modeler for it, but they might do it. Who knows? But that's everything on this update, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.